Hello. I thought I'd come on this evening because I've had an interesting conversation with my new financial advisor earlier on. I was uh, sorting out my disparate pensions into one place, tidying up and getting clear on where I am so I know what I have to do for the future. But it led to a conversation about following convention, the conventional path, because actually it's not something that I've done in my life. And perhaps that's why I get some of the clients that I do, because they have and they want to do something different. But anyway, so following convention, what happens is you go to school, we go to school, then um, perhaps the person is influenced by their parents as to what subject they choose at university or even their friends around them. And then goes on into a career and the career brings prestige or status and a good level of income that gives them a certain gives a person a certain lifestyle. But then 10, 15 so years down the line, this person realizes that the uh, this career is not for them. They're not actually happy. And often something precipitates that happening. It could be another promotion. It could be redundancy, which forces change or it could be a tragedy. But the key thing around why people may not then still change is that they are um, afraid of giving up the security and that lifestyle that they have. Or it could be that they're actually afraid of admitting that they were perhaps wrong. There's some shame in it that they might have made a wrong decision all those years ago. And also being judged by the people around them. So for the first one, I would say is go and see a financial advisor because uh, look at your options and um, because you may one they may be really, really surprised or you may be really, really surprised. And um, the second one would be is, is there's a danger that if we don't change, we'll end up 10 years down the line still doing the same thing. And 10 years of less happiness in a way dying slightly inside each day and even in affecting our relationships because we feel resentful we end up being stuck and unhappy and then there's the other option where yes we may have to start again with all that experience that we had leave it behind and start again at the beginning but 10 years down the line we'll have be experiencing whatever we've chosen to do and likely be a lot happier. And it also brought to mind the uh, quote or this, the research that Bonnie Ware did, she's a palliative nurse, into the regrets of the dying. And one, their number one was, I wish I'd had the courage to live my life the way I wanted to, to be true to myself and not live the life that others expected of me and that's quite a thing to think about isn't it you know especially in this time of change you'd be surprised many many people have stepped out and started new businesses many people have been forced to do it and it's really thinking about what do we want 10 years down the line what do we want to feel do we want to have lived the life that others want us to live or be true to ourselves. Anyway, that's my thought for this evening. And uh, if you have any comments, pop them below. I'd love to know what you think. And see you again soon.